Tesla considers many variables to calculate how much energy the car will use during a drive, making their estimates extremely accurate. It is not uncommon to arrive at your destination with your battery within 1-2% of the calculation of, if not on exactly the same number. When the calculation is off, it can often be attributed to external variables like a strong headwind. Tesla appears to have figured out a way to consider wind and other external variables in their new calculation of range. Now, welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment to subscribe our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell to, so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. Tesla is now starting to account for wind, air, density, and more when doing range calculation in an attempt to be more accurate. This means in the near future, your Teslas will be more accurate when it comes to range. Range calculations are difficult regardless of the type of powertrain, electric, or internal combustion engine. There are just so many factors that can affect the efficiency of a vehicle on a road that it is hard to determine how far it can go on a full battery pack or tank of gas. But it is important, I would argue, that accurate range prediction is better at curbing range anxiety than longer range. Because if you know how uh, much range you have exactly when you're going on top of mountain, it is better to know that information. Tesla has been a leader in efficiency and long range electric vehicles for a long time, but despite that, it still has issues predicting the energy consumption of a trip, and especially when you're going up in the mountain on a cold weather. In 2018, Tesla added more environmental factors, elevation changes, weather, etc., in the calculation of range. It helped, but it is still far from accurate. You put a destination in the system and Tesla's trip advisor tells you how much energy you will have left by the time you get there. But it's not rare to see the amount of energy go down fast as you drive your Tesla vehicle. Now, Tesla is making new improvements to its energy consumption calculation. The automaker has started pushing a new software update, the 2022.8.2, that includes a few user interface changes, better charging calculations, and a preconditioning update. That's according to the release notes, but Tesla hacker Green found a few more changes under the hood. It includes accounting for crosswinds and headwinds, air density, and humidity in the energy consumption calculation when the data is available. So according to Hacker uh, Green the Only, the 2022.8.2 software update released this week includes an undocumented change. The tree planner now accounts for cross headwinds, air density, and humidity, says uh, the, the blogger. It is unclear at this time how the tree planner measures and takes these variables into account. As Green notes in his tweet, the feature might only be available in China, where the automaker includes things like an air quality index reading on the uh, display. It is, an, it is actually, if it is available in North America, it will be practically useful when driving across the prairies where you can only, uh, actually where you can often encounter very strong headwinds, uh, which reduces the range of your Tesla considerably. While these factors could only account for a few percentage points of difference when it comes to Tesla range, it can be a big deal for some trips. Every percentage point counts when doing efficiency and range calculations, right? Green did not, uh, did actually say that this feature might only be available in China for now, which is often the case with new Tesla futures. Here's what he said. Despite having at least seven different range predictions available on Tesla's display, the one that matters and the one that is head and shoulder above everyone else is the state of charge at destination, when that destination is entered into navigation. 
complemented by the green line to see how one is progressing. This is already a truly impressive feature that I find uncannily accurate and wonderful pacifier when one is taking very long trips well off the beaten path, says one Tesla owner named Joe under electrics coverage of this topic. He says including more variables into their algorithm can only make it even better. What's interesting to me is that there is no overt ability to enter the driver's driving characteristics, although that could readily be incorporated as the car is already customized to adjust various parameters. Example, seat position based on the driver's name. You know, while it's usually quite good, you can still trick yourself. I almost managed to run out of battery a couple of weeks ago, says that owner. One Tesla other owner says he had planned a day at a ski resort, a start at home at almost 100% of charge, arrive at destination with approximately 20% of charge. After skiing trip to next supercharger, uses an estimated 5%. He says he looked good when planning in advance, still looked okay when I got into the car after skiing. Yet, I barely made it to South Carolina um, with 1% left. So, what went wrong? Well, the skiing resort is at a fairly high elevation, about 6,070 6, feet. And the supercharger is way lower, 500 meters or 1,640 feet. Also, temperature was about minus uh, 5 degrees Celsius or 23 Fahrenheit. He says... I had completely overlooked that rep um, regenerative braking would be severely limited at uh, South, uh, South California and um, I didn't know that other things didn't matter. All the way downhill I got practically no energy from recuperation and thus almost run out of juice before reaching the charger. It won't happen to me again he says but it would sure be nice if, uh, if the board estimation took that into account as well. Another person says, I can say wind has caused 10 to 15% range reduction between supercharging stations. And I always question the range in colder weather, which is my largest concern. Easily see 30% swings on the older 30, 40% reduced range. Have you seen such a big differentiation, friends, in your Tesla range? Let me know what you think. How important do you think the calculation of headwind is uh, going to affect Tesla's overall range estimation and the accuracy? Let's discuss that in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage. Give us thumbs up, please. I would greatly appreciate sharing social media. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you and your families and of, with the world. And I'll see you soon in our next Tesla report.